Hi Kiwi, we are back at Gazette Beasts. It's been about three days since I last played, but I am <laughs> ripping and raring to go. Being out here with only a fire to warm us, it reminds me of summer camp, or it would if I ever went to summer camp, which I didn't. But this is pretty close to how I imagined summer camp would be like as a kid, so I'm happy. I've never gone camping or done any like summer camp or anything. Oh, brush room's ready to evolve. Let's do this. All right, let's see what we get. Remaster brush room into a more powerful tape. Oh no, it's got a mustache. Fun go. Oh, fantastic. I know it's a paint palette, but I my brain interprets that as a like a pizza with M&Ms on it. And I'm hungry, so I was gonna make this wrong. Okay, that's a sound effect. That's a choice. The fun go has combined the art of combat with the art of calligraphy. Its movements are swift and effective, incorporating strikes from its paintbrush staff with disciplined stances. All right. Very good melee attack, reasonable melee defense, okay speed, good range defense, and everything else is kind of meh. All right, so me another melee attacker. It'll go along well with uh, Gooby Tooby. All right. Well, with all that said, though, uh, it is good to be back. Where we left off last time, I believe we were hunting for the altars to finish Felix and Kuneko's quest. Sorry, I'm just moving a wire. Uh, and then also... We have where that exclamation point is. I suppose that'll be where we head next. Um, hmm. Let me real quick. I'll check our quest logs just, just to remind myself. All right, those are kind of the all. Then we have find the altar, speak to Viola. Oh right, right. We uh, she wanted us to find her brother, and her brother was a ghost in the water, surrounded by the things that definitely didn't trigger PTSD. Um, cackling from one of the graves. Alright, so we've got Old Ruin and Cherry Meadow. Meadow. We're close to that. Maybe we should check that out, too. Tiny Dominoth. Alright, that's here. And then Cupped and Buffy is somewhere in this area. Alright, so we've got a lot to do today. Let's see what we get done. First and foremost, we're taking this because it is a form of protection and power. And, of course, in the typical fashion, oh, the perfect human being is all human beings put together. It is collective. It is all of us that makes perfection. Oh, it's Socrates. Yeah. And Plato, I exhort you, also take part in, a, in the great combat, which is the combat of life, and greater than every other earthly conflict. So I've been downstairs for about an hour now, and I my cat has been floating around, playing with her toys and such. She literally waited for the first two minutes of recording to finally go to the bathroom. Now I'm convinced she does this on purpose, and I'm going to have to smell this for the rest of the recording. I love my cat. She does not cover her business, and therefore it never... Oh, God, it's awful. I've said it before, and I will say it again. Don't get cats. They are a scam. I cannot change my mind. Oh, you're a fusion fair. Okay. That's exciting. Gallop off. Hey! You can't play the singing music for them. This isn't nearly as meaningful. <laughs> so, I have absolutely been listening to uh, the Gazette Beast soundtrack while doing uh, housekeeping uh, of late. And, oh man, it's, it's just such an absolute bop. 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 It's a bop. Bop. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, sometimes the best commentary is just being quiet, because this song just carries itself. It's not my favorite of the bunch. My favorites are definitely going to be, uh... Sorry, 
Um, my favorite songs are definitely the song that plays during uh, the Archangel fight, so same old story, and then... Thank you! <clears throat> Thank you, I thought that I could beat you, now I'm truly wise, because now I know that I know nothing. <gasps> We are philosophers, Socrates, not fighters. Hardly any being is capable of pursuing two professions or two arts rightly. Alright. That's a pretty old church. I want to sketch it. I wonder if that's where the Dominoth is. Hmm. I need another creative one to get up there. Here's a button. Oh, a puzzle. I think we did one of those earlier in a previous episode. Uh, anyway, what was I going to say? <laughs> it's cute, they just completely disappear. I bet there's an updraft if I break this. Let's try. Actually, I don't even need to, I can just do that. But, let's find out. Yep, okay. That's what I figured. I'm gonna switch out Lemonade for this, since uh, he's pretty low. So anyway, uh, so, absolutely... Uh, I'm, I'm blanking on the name of the song that plays when you're in New World, but absolutely that song too. I uh, just, it's so soothing. It's so pleasant, and it, it kind of, it, it gives me the feeling of uh, just kind of floating, which I feel like is part of the lyrics, even. So, can I make this? Haha! -ha! Oh, hey, a crate. Perfect. Okay, I have my plan. So, let's go ahead and drop this rock here, and then we need to run around. Where was it? Can I go this way? Go up this way. Slide across this. And then we place the crate down here. Grab this, and there we go. Speedrun strats, haha. <laughs> I'm definitely not supposed to be up here yet. Anything behind here? Feels like there should be. I wonder if there's a reason to get onto that church's roof. Oh, you know what? I bet we have to... We can't get in until we, um... Dig... Uh, un until we get some sort of ability that lets us climb up this tower, and then we probably get access to something. Oh, well. It was a nice thought. Just getting my ahead of myself and breaking the game. Oh, that camera... That perspective shift almost made me fall off of that. Okay. I think there were buttons that we needed with this. I don't remember where they are, but this is definitely what we're going to hold on to. And there's a lever over here, so let's go ahead and open this. Okay. Anything to make this map a little more navigable? Navigable? Navigatable? I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... Opening up areas makes the game easier, that's for sure. All right. So, alright, let's go back to business. I haven't found the tiny Dominoth yet. I don't know where to expect to find that. It's supposed to be in this area. Maybe it only shows up at a certain time, or it's just there and I've already missed it. Uh, like, I've already seen it and missed it. Oh well. We'll focus on that quest later. Let's, uh, continue heading this way. Wait, there was a battle over here. Let me go do that real quick. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Oh, here's a button. <gasps> uh oh. That's an archangel, probably. Alright. Are you here to research the pint sized Dominoth rumor, too? The gossip points to this location, but so far I've only seen regular sized Dominoth. Maybe it has something to do with the train that passed by underground a moment ago. Okay. I don't think I was supposed to access this just yet. I mean, they got the rumor, so really all I'm missing is the ability to jump. Or either get a double jump or climb walls. I don't know. These train stations give me the creep creeps. I feel like we're not meant to be here. Alright. Well, first off, let's activate the fast travel. This is... Ooh, I... Oh. Oh, dear. That is so creepy. And there's a heart right above it, which makes it... Is that... Kaylee? That kinda sorta looks like Kaylee. Just a bit. I don't like... I, I'm gonna hope that's just like red covering her shirt, but... Oh man, they, they, they nailed the Uncanny Valley vibe on these. Welcome, I've taken the liberty of opening Platform A for your travel. Now what can I do for you, Jeff? Nothing new just yet. 
Can I do anything on the garden? Okay. Uh, well, I know which one looks worse, so we're gonna go down here first and see if there's any goodies. Oh, oh, I hate this. Ooh, this is, oh, I hate this even more. It's moving really fast. Like, oh, God, uh, oh, oh, boy. It's a good thing I landed on those nice cushioning leaves. Felix, I'm sorry for what happened to you. Oh, it's sliding. Oh, oh, where are we now? This place is so icky. To my esteemed guests, please enjoy this food I've prepared for you. I'll be arriving to greet you shortly, so don't go anywhere. Hehehe. <laughs> eat the cake labeled eat me. No. We're not eating that yet. We're gonna explore a little bit more. Anything in here? Requires a key. Okay, so I bet I get a key from eating the cake. Oh. Oh, it's Alice in Wonderland. Okay. So lift this up, and now I need to shrink. Drink from the bottle labeled drink me. I am even tinier now! Haha! -ha! Beware my ineffectivity! Oh, Spring Heel Cafe? He won't even acknowledge my existence. Alright. Oh, the music is getting more ominous. Alright, eat the cake. I said not to go anywhere. Honestly, where are your manners? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. The Hatter won't appreciate his tea party being interrupted, so stay put, I say, Alice. Eat. Okay. Oh, you're not a you're not a cafe person. You're just mean. Yeah, I guess we. Uh... Oh, you've disturbed a monster's tea party. <laughs> so we've got the Mad Hatter. Uh. I'm completely blanking on who else is there with the Mad Hatter. Um. All right. Wow. Not a good look. Anyway, we'll do double smack on Thwackalope. Do I have any good moves with that don't require a setup? Eh, let's do Leech. We can heal ourselves that way. We've got a large fight here. We'll do it on Muskrat here. Um, so, one thing I, I meant to bring up... Uh, or one thing I realized in in a previous episode, we uh, Felix introduces us to zoetropes and and zoot reels and stuff, and so some of that isn't real. Obviously, having an animation that plays repeatedly um, on a reel like that, and then you just select something and it skips to the next one. If, if I'm remembering correctly, that isn't exactly real. But zoetropes are a legitimate uh, form of animation. Um, I knew I had heard the name before, I just couldn't remember why and how. But the way zoetropes work is, uh, for, for Kiwi, as a reference to you, for you, um, zoetropes, we saw one in uh, the opening of Mob Psycho Season 2. Uh, they, it's the thing, it's one of those things where if it's, it, they're stationary objects, but then they spin so fast that they look animated. Um, the, I, I don't know if that's completely a zoetrope, but if you've, there are definitely some that I've seen that are popular online, like, uh, here, let me think. Get rid of the plastic. I don't have anything here that would hit that plastic wall away faster. Let's switch out Van Gogh or Fungo and Pomadier will speed things up a little bit. Uh huh. Uh, but but so uh, there's uh, there's a popular one I think of frogs jumping where it's just a bunch of basically if you think of them like as uh, they're effectively frames. They're they're statues or or carvings of the frogs in the different positions and arcs with their jump. And then it starts spinning and it, it doesn't really look like anything, just them moving. And then as you move it faster and faster, once you get a certain rotation per minute, it starts looking like uh, the frogs are actually jumping. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so Mob Psycho's opening has like the big Reagan with all the mobs around him, I think. Or it may have been smaller Reagans, but they start spinning, and then suddenly it looks like they're just animated to get... They're all animated, uh, like, in motion. Uh, and, and that's one of the things I love about Mob Psycho, beyond just it being one of my... Probably one of my favorite anime of all time. Potentially my favorite anime of all time. Um, it, uh... Its second opening is just an homage to so many different animation styles, because you have... I mean, it has, it has the zoetrope. Uh, it has... Oh, Bombardier's level 5. Can it evolve? Can it get remastered now? I wonder. Look at this silly, tiny little box. Alright, so there's a lever up there, so I need to platform, and I guess I... 
There's a part of me that wants to be real cheeky and do this without being small, and I bet I can. I wonder... Okay, so I can't do that. Can I grab this box without getting shrunk? I can. Okay, hold on. I want to cheese this. Yes, okay, I got it. Now, all I need to do is... Can I latch onto this? No, it's too low. But what if... There's definitely a way to do this enlarged, I promise you. Do I have the patience to achieve it? Probably not. Maybe these ledges are just a tad too small. But, no matter. Let's get this credit out of the way. Let's shrink down. And then let's solve some platforming challenges. Now that I can grab this crate, I should be... Hmm. You know what? I bet the reason this is a bit challenging is the fact that the game probably assumes I have the ability to climb on walls. Because I actually absolutely should have access to this area. Oh well, it's fine. Whoop, well okay. We're fighting, that's fine. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, the Mop Psycho, it has, what does it have? It has, I don't know, I, I, I haven't studied, studied enough animation to list off all the different uh, animation types that are featured in it, but um, I know this is Zoetrope, there's just standard animation, I know they have one where Mop's face separates and shows out the different layers to show like, I guess, more traditional um, electronic drawings that have different layers. Um, gosh, I don't know, I just... I, I genuinely love that opening because if, if you dissect it and appreciate it for what it is, there's there are way more layers than you would think to it. And, and that's not even meant to be a uh, art pun. Regardless, though. Um, the other thing that I realized I forgot to talk about was in the episode title Doggles, when I got really, really excited about uh, Pompadour remastering, I never actually explained what doggles are or what they're for. I alluded to the fact that I would, but then I never did. Um, so, doggles are exactly what they sound like. They're goggles for dogs, but they do serve a medical purpose. Aside from dogs with eye issues or photosensitivity, uh, like sensitivity to light, um, there, there's a disease called panis. Which, uh, cor forgive me if I'm mistaken on this, it's been a while since I've even thought about Panis. Uh, because, I mean, who usually, who, who does think about Panis, other than people contending with it as a disease in their pets? Um, me, because I'm a weirdo who likes learning about medical diseases and things of that nature, so, you know. Um, anyway, uh, actually, this should make you conductive, right? Yep, okay. Uh, you know, plastic coating again. Anyway, where was I? Uh, so, so Panis is, I believe, an autoimmune disease that causes, um, an overgrowth of, effectively, skin around the eyes. And it's not a painful condition. It doesn't hurt when the skin kind of grows onto the eyes, but it does severely limit vision. Uh, and it seems, in theory, to be triggered by light. So, giving dogs that are prone to make it, you, that develop panis or are prone to panis doggles, you can you can help slow its progression or prevent its progression. Um, uh, German shepherds, I know, are very prone to panis. They're kind of the poster children for it, I believe. That said, unfortunately, German shepherds are notorious for all of the autoimmune diseases. They they just have kind of a lot of problems. They're prone to a lot of problems, this is particularly autoimmune disease. Um, I know they have they can have a lot of stomach problems, they can have a lot of uh, immune-mediated diseases such as... Uh, oh, can I not pick this up? Am I too small? Can I... Nope, okay. Let's just... Oops. Hmm. They're coffee mugs. They should be movable. I guess they're too big for a small Jeff. I'll have to be big Jeff for these. It look. It does look like there's something... Oh, God. Come on. Come on. There we go. It does look like there's something behind that coffee mug. Maybe another lever. Oh, wait. No, no. Okay. My brain is just interpreting the uh, the handle of the mug as like another level lever switch, but they're, they're not. I'm mistaken. All right. We're fine. All right, we made it. Okay. No more fights. Okay. I'm unclear if I can be normal size for that, so I'm going to try. Here we go. No, I think I need to stay small for this. Yeah. Oh, oh, I made it. I st uh, Oh. I 
I can fit, but it would be nice if I could fit on the first try. Felix, you're kind of blocking the way, bud. Come on. Okay, I got through the first time, but now I can't. Okay, there we go. This definitely has, uh... Wonderland vibes, I guess. Not really, but... You, you know, they're going for an aesthetic and they're getting it. I'm saving this for later. It's to be a surprise for you. A courteous guest will leave it alone. Use your head, don't lose it. Open the chest. Oh, this is a chest. Cute. Queenix wants your head. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, two monsters that we do not have yet. All right, let's catch them both. Um, yeah, I, 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 I my dad had German, German Shepherds growing up. Um, he lost his shepherd, not to autoimmune disease, but another disease they're prone to called uh, gastric dilatation and valvulus, which a lot of barrel-chested breeds are prone to. If you've ever heard of Great Danes, the really, really big dogs, they are super at risk for it. All right, um, here, how am I going to do this? I want to... I think we take out Queenix first because they have advantage against us. So... Double Smack turns you to glass. I don't want you to instant die. You're level 30. I don't know if you'll survive this, so... Hmm. I think the strategy is let's have Felix get a firewall. Because in theory, the ground type won't attack the plant type. And then... Felix, let's have you do a smack against Queenix just to start getting her whittled away. Really, you would choose to attack the monster that is resistant to you. Okay, whatever. What do I know? Well, we getting these guys leeched will help us stock up on HP over the turns, so that's fine. I'm going to have uh, Jeff use double smack here, and I'm going to have Felix try to record, and I'm going to use our stronger tapes on this because I... I don't foresee this going well if I don't go a little more aggro. Just, we're already low on HP. Alright, let's see. That's a base 32% chance. Of, of course you're gonna wall your... Oh, okay, good. You walled this hit, so that's fine. Just gonna make it easier for us. Cool. Alright. This should work out much to our much in our favor. Um, anyway, so, gastric dilatation and volvulus. It, why did that reduce the catch chance despite uh good class huh not entirely clear why are you changing you to glass type reduce your catch oh yeah i do i was using a, t a recorder that's effective against earth types and i changed its typing so of course that's gonna make it more difficult all right i'm gonna have jeff switch to uh eh. Nothing here seems perfect for me. Alright. Uh, hmm. Well, it's already a glass tape at this point, so what does it matter? I don't think I have anything that's super effective against glass, so I'll just go and use the, uh, I'm out of chrome tapes. Uh, I, I played myself real bad here. Alright. Played myself like a cassette. Recording. Uh, wow, this is unideal. And it's going to kill itself if I don't catch it in the next three turns. Cool. 19% chance. 24% chance. Uh, is this going to be the one fight where the 100% uh, the chance at 30% is just not going to happen? Because it feels like it is. Oh boy. Unideal. Well, let's, let's firewall Felix again because he needs to be safe. I'm gonna keep at it until I get lucky. Recording. I'm not a fan of our chances, though. <laughs> a 19 a 19% chance. Yeah, we're in a bad spot. Oh man, 15% of the chance. Yeah. All right, it should revert to Earth type on the next attack, though, which will give us a chance. Um, right, I think what I need to do here is have Jeff swap for now. We'll switch out to who has a wall. Does Pickle Pupper have a wall? Metal wall. Okay, that'll that'll work, I guess. All right, swapping out to Pickle Pupper, and uh, we'll just try and record the Phoenix again. 
even if the chance is low, it's still a chance, and I'm on a time limit this time. Recording. Speed up, okay. You know, I should have just used the Earth Tape on this turn. Oh well. So this is my last chance to catch it, so let's have Pickle Pupper use a Metal Wall on Felix to keep him safe. Pickle Pupper may be too slow to get this off before Felix takes the hit, but we're going to try for it. And then we're going to use a Ceramic Tape on Queenix, and hopefully this time it'll work properly. 61% of the chance, 61% uh, chance is still not great. Oh, the Gambit failed, so she doesn't actually get knocked out. I Metal Walled the... Oh, it... Oh, I have multi-target. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, that helps a lot. There we go. Okay. Got her. I have captured your queen. Queenix are able to channel elemental energy into the orbs they wield, which they can then throw at opponents and pre with precise aim. They are fast movers despite lacking any legs and slide across solid ground as if they were gliding through the air. Super fast, super HP, kind of a setup. Character ritual. What does that do? Brings the little user back to life. Last Rex is strong, wow. Okay, you've got some good moves. We'll have to steal your stickers later. <laughs> if not use you, you know? Okay, now to focus on Manosphere. So, uh, hmm. I guess... Let's go for the Superheated Fist since we have the Metal Wall. I was thinking about Leech tanking him a little bit just to heal us up, but I'll use Recovery Items. I think I might know what I'm going to use my uh, fuse material for next. I'll probably upgrade our our healing item, uh, our healing item back. Wonder why I can't fuse here. The fusion meter doesn't even appear. Oh, you know what? It's because we haven't unlocked it with Felix yet. That's why. Okay, so superheated fish should hit him pretty hard. Probably won't knock him down to zero, but just in case it does, let's go ahead and. We'll use a ferrochrome tape here again because we're uh we're not sitting pretty on HP, so the less damage I have to take, the better. And of course that would miss. Oops. Unlucky. I'm <laughs> not getting lucky this fight at all. Oosh. How does it, how? Do, I don't fully. I guess does he have an evasion up? Or, I thought that was speed up, but yeah, that's evasion up. Okay, that's why that missed. I was confused for a moment. Well, I have the AP. Maybe I switch to Bonavent and Nurse Us, but nah. We'll just keep trying to record for now. We'll do one more Ferrochrome tape. Recording. As long as I land a single hit, I feel like this will be a 100% chance, but that's the problem. Because, hey, we got lucky. But guaranteed he's going to hit Felix, because why wouldn't he? That should knock him down into a yeah, 100% chance range, so I think even if Felix takes the hit here, we're fine. Yep, cool. Here, gate catch. And there we go. Rad. Cool, two monsters to add to our team. If Squirey gives in to their dark impulses while training, it is destined to become a Manosphere. Hiding its face between a black helmet, the Manosphere fights without restraint of self-control. Now, I forgot to nickname the other one, but I can at least remember here. This character's name, or this monster's name, is Nee! Wait, oh, hold on. Nee! Alright, welcome to the team, Nee. All right, there we go. Any cool moves? Uh, quick smack. What does that do? It's one target takes priority. Okay, so nothing too fancy. All right, the rest we've seen these before. Quick smack sounds good, but it's basically just zoomies um, for metal types, so not amazing. All right, let's knock this guy out. Yeah, we'll just do the superheated fist and then smack from him. Of course, this jerk had to get one last hit in before he faints. Hit him with the 69. GG. Okay, Whew. we are not sitting pretty on HP. I hope I can escape here before we... White Rabbit Key. Curiouser and Curiouser. Oh, and we got damage roll. Cool. Alright, so what we have to do here is we have to backtrack. Um... Hmm. The question is... I probably can't escape, so I could try and farm some AP and then have Bonavin heal everyone. That might be the best move here, because I don't... Eh, I'm just going to use my rewinds, it's fine. Alright, I should have some of these, right? Am I... Oh no, I'm out of rewinds. Ooh, I am in a really bad spot. Huh. 
Okay. I think I know what I have to do. I can fast travel here now, right? Yeah, okay. So let's real quick fast travel to Harbor Town. I guess Alice didn't think about fast travel when she laid her trap. But let's let's seal up here. And actually, Keely is my eh, I, I don't wanna have to backtrack a third time for Felix. Let's uh we'll just have Felix join us for this. Let's rest. Felix quietly and intently sketches as time passes. Alright, tape storage... Party. I'm still happy with our current setup. I'm not a fan of Fungo's fight style. It, it's too slow for me. But it, it, it's a I really like the idea of it, I just don't like using it. Alright, um... Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's switch back out to Kaylee for now. Because I, I like having her around for Archangel fights. Right. Let's go. Okay, Felix will be back for when we figure out where that last altar is, but I don't know where it is, and I don't think we're going to find it in the foreseeable future. So let's fast travel to Cross Station. I'm out of curiosity, what's... Oh, you have to be tiny to get out of here. I gotcha. Or get in there. That's why we had to go this way. Okay, so we have to relive this. Kaylee, I'm just gonna... Alright, we're... This is not how I expected fusion to work, but we are fused. <laughs> okay. Let's get our... Actually, we don't need to do this. I think we probably need to be tiny to get into this hole, though. Remove from inventory white rabbit key. There's a little lever. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, dear. Oh! <laughs> Nice li this is exactly how we would land if we fell like this together. I would land face first on the ground, and you would just elegantly drift into the ground. Anyway, we can't access this door without getting small, so I think I understand what it wants from me. Let's fuse in the corner again. We, Kaylee and Jeff's hearts act as one. Oh boy. All right, now we shrink. Now we lever, and now we fall really, really fast. And now we enter the secret room. Alright, let's go meet Alice. Duh! It's that atmosphere again. I'm getting used to it now, but it still makes my head hurt. It's a very tiny train station if we're still small. Nothing here. Alright. I am curious to see what Alice looks like. I don't know why I'm saving. It doesn't really matter if I lose, but... Uh, I say... We use Bonovan And Gooby Tooby. I think that's going to be my combo. Unless, here, let me check tape. Let me see what I have in big AP spenders. Definitely Hurricane would be pretty strong. I don't know what to expect here is the issue. I, you know what? Let me lead with Sasperilla so I can get poison off. Mm, I don't actually remember if we can even get status ailments on him. Let's stick to this team because we'll have conductive as well. Here we go. Oh. Oh no. An archangel, be on your guard, Jeff. Oh no, you're you're a Madoka Magica enemy. Oh gosh. You ignored my instructions to stay put. Don't you respect me? Don't you realize just how important I am? Oh. This is literally something out of Madoka Magica. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Ugh. You've got a pretty big ego, huh? Such rudeness towards a member of royalty, no less. If you refuse to use your heads, I'll just have to take them from your shoulders. Archangel Alice, Wonderland's Exiled Queen. <laughs> Alright, we don't have fusion yet, but we have my favorite song in the game. I'm just gonna put the headphones on and bop while we fight. Here we go. Alright, uh, I think the strategy here is let's protect ourselves for now. And we'll buff up, get ready to fuse. We don't know what her, her strategy is just yet. Okay, toy hammer. 
Alright, so, given that beat me... Oh. Inflated characters have increased attack and defense stats, but significantly reduced evasion. I am not into inflation, just gonna say. Okay, so she's a lot bigger, so she's gonna be tanky now. So... Since she has Toy Hammer, I do think taking electricity out is a bad idea. Also, we won't be able to nurse if she hits us with the, uh... with that attack. But... I think for now, let's have Bonovan... We'll have Bonovan save up AP for now. And we're gonna switch Gooby Tooby out. We'll do... We'll do the classic Lemonade. And we want Pombadier. Let's do Pombadier. Try and get some fire up here. Uses Mountain Smash. Oh, that's an Earth type, isn't it? Ugh, she has a. Okay, I guess. Ooh, ooh, okay, this is bad. Oh, deflated. Deflated characters have significantly increased evasion but de reduced attack and defense stats. Alright, so she's just gonna mess around with her size. I do think we really need to fuse. Um, I'm gonna nurse Kaylee, but uh, all right. So she, maybe to, maybe she uses Toy Hammer when she's small and Earth Mountain and Mountain Smasher, whatever it's called, when she's large. If that's the case, I think Lemonade's probably our best bet here. All right, and then we'll fuse. We'll definitely fuse after that. She doesn't seem to be focusing Bonovan. Let's hit her with a life of. So uh, I'm gonna try and continue to net up some AP. Uh, so let's let's do another sharpen. Bombardier switch to lemonade, I guess. Well, loot or pickle pickle popper might be. Hmm. I forget how earth and, and steel match up. Pickle popper might be the better choice because then I can stack attack stats when they fuse. I'm gonna go for that. Hopefully we don't have she doesn't have anything else to deal with us like that. Waterworks. I was going to put out my... Ah, oh, man. Oh, she's strong. Okay, no matter what I pick, I'm going to lose here. So, what does it matter? I am not going to eat you. No, you're gross. I have wasted so many terms trying to figure out what the right strategy is that I've just kind of thrown myself under the bus. We're going to just fuse and go for it. Jeff and Kaylee's hearts act as one. Rampa. All right. We are fused, which means the lyrics begin soon. But first, let's enjoy this music. I'm gonna use Bite here. Let's see how our damage is. Okay, ooh, we got a crit. Ooh, that was a crit. High and mighty. She does a lot of damage, but I think on the turns when she's small, we can use Nurse to heal rather than risk not hitting her. Guzzle Fuel. Is that steel buffs? Two AP. Oh, it's an AP steal. Ooh. What can I do next? It's the same old story. Alright, let's hit him with the old one two. Hit each member of the team multiple times. So that, actually, one two, same damage as battery, but less damage? No. 60 times two. Alright, let's do it. Crit? Okay, apparently we crit every time on that. Toy Hammer's gonna berserk us, which is fine. We weren't trying to, uh... Oh, okay, AP drain, never mind. Unideal. Alright, so this is where she's gonna buy time. Let's use Metal Wall on this turn. Does that skill... didn't go through. Okay, cool. She's big, but she can't hit us through our wall in theory. So let's focus on dealing the damage. I have AP down still, so let's go use Bite. Keep my Try and keep my HP topped off where possible. Water, Waterworks will corrode the wall, so I think it'll one-shot it, but it should block the hit for us, which is arguably more important. I think we've got her, uh, her down now. forget what her super strong move is, but I bet it's scary. So, oh right, it was the one where she jumps on us. 
so we'll use Nurse this turn so we can tank the hit. I went with Nurse rather than, um, I went with Nurse rather than, uh, Metal Wall, mall, ugh, Metal Wall, because I wasn't sure I was going to go first. I wanted to make sure that I could heal whatever she did to me. She's tiny, so she's evading. We'll toss another Metal Wall and hope that she doesn't use Waterworks. I'm playing really defensively on this, and I don't need to. But I think we're fine. All right, she stole the AP, but that's fine. Now we get some hits in. All right, let's get her with the old, old one two. <laughs> Double sixty nine. Okay, nice. Mountain Smash. All right, Mountain Smash does not break metal, so it does have at least no disadvantage. I'm gonna go for the hit on this and see what we can get away with. Maybe I sharpen. Uh, let's just do nurse. Heal back up and then... Oh, I don't have the AP for it. All right, well, let's do bite. Let, let's do bite again. Oh, it actually hit. Well, nice. Uh, my wall fell before she could... Uh... Alright, so she's going to use her big move next. Unless she gets a crit, we should be fine. So let's go ahead and... We'll just keep up the biting for now and heal. It seems like we're more prone to getting crits when she's in this form. Oh, she didn't actually get the AP, huh. All right, now she's full AP, but we attack first and she's big. Hit her with the one, old one two and we win. Go for it. And there we go. The battle was won, and another Archangel done. All right, I don't know why I played so defensively on that one, but I just I felt like doing it. Oh, that's a nice increase in stamina, and we can dash for five seconds now. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the east your wings must fly, to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head northbound, where your wayward paths shall meet. Where trees and dirt paths can be found, where grass is fresh beneath your feet. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. You really have no respect, do you? How infuriating. Child of Ego, defeat Alice. Miss Alice, pleasure to meet you. I need someone with your people skills. Nom 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 nom. You and I, we should have a proper talk sometime. It would be nice if we could have that sooner than later. Mm. I guess she saw herself as the queen of her own little world, huh? Mm. That triangle man said he wanted to have a proper talk with you. What did he mean? Oh, I almost forgot to ask. Did you did you get a new clue from the archangel ghost that lives inside you then? Where trees and dirt paths can be found, where grass is fresh beneath your feet. That sounds like it's describing an area. What do you think? All right, let's crack on. Where off to next? Didn't you hear some rumors about something happening in Cherry Meadow? We could see what's happening there if you want. Ruin. Supposedly there's an old ruin. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the church that we found, I think. Um, but we couldn't access it because we needed to be able to climb stuff. Well, I guess... We still have to find Captain Buffy. She works out. Oh, I bet she's she must be the person who was at the yoga mat. Um, so we, we know where she is. Um... I think... Let's go this route for now. I'm gonna sneeze and I apologize. <coughs> no one heard that, okay? <laughs> okay. Um... Alright. Well, we've got Kaylee. We hopefully are healed up after that. We are. Cool. I guess... Can Palmadier or get remastered? Oh, we got, we got a new monster. Let's go nickname that first before we forget anything else. Uh, tape storage. I don't think we nicknamed this guy either, did we? Can I not nickname him anymore? Maybe he has to be in the team to nickname. Alright, so let's... If that's the case, let's, let's bench Sarsaparilla for a second. 
and bench pickle pupper. We'll we'll get them back right away in a second. Oh right, I kind of wanted this one on my team because I liked his design. Lotad, Medusa, Scubalrus. Oh, we didn't nickname you either. Add to party. All right, we've got some nicknames to make. Charbaka, of course. Uh, Krunkelstein. Do you ever either say or write something and then you go back eventually and you're like, what was I thinking? Because that's basically every time I, I do any of these names. There, It's so much fun to just load up an old Pokemon game and see what I was thinking in that time. Alright, here we go. Scoobalrus. Um... Okay. Half of me wants to just name him Walrein, but that's wrong. Gotta be more creative than that. Um, Pibble Pebble. There we go. Pibble Pebble. All right. Nothing related to you at all. No, your, your existence. Let's see. Bush Eye. Change. Uh, check tape. Rename. Um, <clears throat> you're a little gremlin-looking thing. So. Screarg. There we go. Screarg. Alright, so maybe if I examine the tape in storage, I don't have to actually... Yeah, I think if I just check tape in storage, I should be able to do it. So, Arkid. Let's see. Check tape. There we go. Rename. Alright, Arkid. Um... Skate the great. Skate the great. There we go. <laughs> Someone's gonna read this and not get it and just be like, skate the great. Great. Screw it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll hear it. <laughs> oh wow, he's fast. I forgot. He's definitely a speed form Deoxys type monster. Use him as a, as a setup and not much else. Astral Bear. Uh, booty, booty Boot Bot. Who have we got that we have a name? Folklord looks like your original name. Alright. Um. Blurp. That's Blurp. Welcome to the team, Blurp. <laughs> I forgot I named him Ethanol. Ch Jingle Jacks does not look like a Jingle Jacks. Uh. Pondad. We never nicknamed Pondad, really. Alright. Uh, rename you. Um, he's got a nice little jitter dance. Let's call him Jittery Jim. No, wait. Can I fit Jumbalaya? Jittery Jumbler. Yeah. There we go. Jittery Jumbler. Perfect. Okay. Queenix. There's the one we actually came to name. <laughs> All right. King. <laughs> King with a period. <laughs> that won't confuse anyone. All right. Is that everyone? Did we miss anyone else? Musketeer. Okay. Um, we're going to name you Choco Banana. But Choco Banan. Okay. Is that it? Are we missing anyone else? Screer, Sk Okay. I know I just named him that, but my goodness. Oh, we never named Undyne. You're just gonna be named Trigger Warning because. No. Okay. Um. PTSD Live. Wait, unalive. Because it's an undead, you know? Does that imply suicide? Maybe I, sh maybe I shouldn't. Uh... Alright, PTS... Uh, PTSD trigger. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now let's grab our team back. We want Pickle Pupper back in the team, and we want Sarsaparilla. Cool. Alright. Well, that was a nice little derailing at the end, but hey, we beat another Archangel. 
Well, with all that said, that was a good, that was a fun episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you're awake and it's helping you fall asleep, Kiwi, and if you're not and you are sleeping, sorry, my brain reset. If you're sleeping, I hope you're sleeping well. <laughs> I love you, Kiwi. I will see you in the next one.